Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the basics of channel length modulation. Okay, let's understand the channel length modulation concept with a simple understanding of the MOS transistor. Okay, let's assume that this is my NMOS, where this is my source region, this is my drain region, this is my SiO2 layer, this is my metal, and this is my P substrate. Now, if I apply a positive voltage at the gate, let's see what happens when I'm grounding my drain and source. We know that because it's a P-type substrate and the positive voltage is applied at the gate, the holes which would be present here would be repelled. The holes are repelled from the surface. At the same time, it will leave behind negative ions. If we keep on increasing the gate voltage, the negative ions or the more number of holes would be repelled, which will lead to more number of ions getting accumulated underneath the surface. And we see that this is nothing but our channel. Now let's play around with drain and source voltages as well, one at a time, and let's understand what's happening. Now, if the gate voltage is positive, and let's assume some value so that it's easy for understanding, let's assume it as 0.6 volts, my drain voltage is still zero and my source voltage is nothing but 0.3 volts. Now what do we understand here is, let's just for understanding divide this into two parts. The one part is between gate to source, another part is between gate to drain. We see that VGD is equal to 0.6 volts, same like if it was here also 0.6 then the difference between the gate and drain is 0.6 minus 0 that is 0.6 volts and VGS which is gate voltage is 0.6 and source voltage is 0.3 is nothing but 0.3 volts. So here we see that the VGS or the gate to source voltage is reduced whereas the drain to gate voltage or the gate to drain voltage to be more correct is still 0.6 volts. Now what can you say about the number of holes being repelled from this region and what number of holes would be repelled from this region. Very, very common. Here the difference voltage or the positive voltage present is less. So less number of holes would be repelled and less number of ions would be left behind compared to the right side where more number of ions would be left behind because more number of holes are repelled. If I have to see the shape of my channel here, it will be something like this. If we keep on increasing the source voltage further in the positive direction, we'll see that more number of holes would be repelled and very less number of ions would be left behind, which might lead to nothing but, if I have to put in very simple language, very, very little number of carriers present near the source, which shows that my channel has reduce its width and if we keep on increasing the source voltage at this juncture the number of carriers getting attracted would be very very less but we also know that we don't play around with the source voltage why we keep the source and the body both at the same potential to avoid a phenomena called as body effect or substrate bias effect that's the reason we change everything near the drain and not near the source let's understand what do i mean for this ease of understanding. Okay, now let's apply same 0.6 volt at the gate and this time we'll apply at the drain 0.3 volts whereas the source would be equal to zero. So is my body. Body is nothing but my substrate. So source is zero, body is zero. We'll put the same analogy. Now VGD is 0.3 volts and VGS is 0.6 volts. Therefore, more holes would be repelled from here compared to here and we'll have more number of ions left behind here whereas we'll have less number of ions left behind here and we'll have the shape of our channel as something like this. If we keep on increasing the drain voltage, we understand that my channel is going to keep on reducing its length and keep on shifting towards the left. So we understand that VD increasing and this is nothing but same as VDS increasing because source is grounded so we can say that VDS increasing my channel length keeps on reducing or my channel length keeps on modulating and this is nothing but the effect of VDS which leads to a phenomena called as channel length modulation. In the further clip we will see what exactly will happen due to channel length modulation. Hope you have understood. Stay tuned. Thank you.